Between work and family commitments, we don't have much time to spend enjoying the company of our partners or the energy to arrange a tete-a-tete -tete at a restaurant with a table for two. Fortunately, there's always the alternative of preparing a romantic meal at home. Mela's resident chef Yudhika has created a menu that's all heart and no hassle, so you'll have plenty of time and energy to focus on your significant other. There's no better way of celebrating love than preparing a meal for that special someone. On the Food Melon this week, I'll be doing just that with fish tikka served with silky chili cream sauce, coriander chops chutney, and for dessert, something to tantalize your taste buds, a red velvet Oreo cheesecake. I'm starting out with the dessert first, and for that, I've got 300 grams of Oreos. I've removed the cream and crushed them finely until they resemble crumbs. 120 grams of melted butter going into the crumbs and stir those ingredients together. This is going to give you a dark biscuity base and it's going to contrast quite nicely with the red cheesecake filling. And now you need to grease a pie dish, a 25 centimeter pie dish with non-stick spray and scoop the crumbs into the base and spread the crumbs over evenly. It's easier to work around the sides first and work on the base last. Also use a loose bottom tin when you are making the cheesecake. It makes it quite easy to serve. This chocolatey base looks decadent and it's ready. This goes into the refrigerator for 10 minutes to chill. The base of the cheesecake is ready, it's chilled down and it's firmed up. Let's start with the filling and for that you need two tubs of good quality cream cheese. Gonna pop this into a mixing bowl. And then to that, we've got some fresh cream going in. This is single cream. And then double thick cream. And whisk the ingredients together on a low speed. Gradually add the sugar. And I'm using caster sugar for this. Now add the chocolate. I've got 100 grams of dark chocolate melted. Turn up the speed. That's well combined. All the ingredients have come together quite nicely. And now for the red velvet part. Food coloring going in. And remember to always add this at a low speed. That filling is now ready. Use the spatula just to make sure everything is mixed all the way down to the bottom. That's ready and in it goes into the case. Use a little spatula and just spread that evenly. Chill this in the refrigerator for about two to three hours or until the mixture is set. For the coriander chops chutney, the first thing we need to do is to steam the chops. And for that, about a cup of water going into a pan. And to the water, we add a cinnamon stick and a bay leaf. And now some ginger and garlic paste going into the water. And stir those ingredients together. Place the lamb chops into the liquid. Simmer these chops on a low heat until they're tender. Now season the chops with some salt. Time to prepare the sauce. I've got the pan heating up and to that some sunflower oil. And now finely chopped onion going into the pan. Now season the onion with salt about a teaspoon of coarse salt. While the onion's frying, let's prepare the spices. I've got two dried red chilies, just removing the stems. Place them on some baking paper, and then coriander seeds going on top. Fold the spices in the paper, and then take a rolling pin and roll that. And this adds a lovely fresh flavor to those lamb chops. That looks perfect. The 
coriander seeds and the red chili going into the fried onion. The onions are starting to turn golden brown. Ginger and garlic paste and some chopped green chili. And once the moisture evaporates, add two teaspoons of red chili powder. Warm the chili through for about three to five seconds. And now chopped tomatoes. Give that a good stir. Now to spice up the tomatoes, add a teaspoon of ground cumin, a teaspoon of ground coriander, and half a teaspoon of garam masala, and just a tiny pinch of turmeric. Use the back of a spoon to break down the lumps in the tomato. And leave this to simmer until the tomato resembles a thick paste. Let's check on the chops. These are steaming through. Turn them over. The moisture's now evaporated and the fat starts to melt off the chops. And just fry the chops in that fat. Chops are now golden brown and they do splatter a fair bit. So careful you don't get a nasty burn. Make a well in the center. And now the cooked tomato going in. If the tomato is too thick, you can add a touch of water to that and just gently scrape the pan while you coat the lamb chops in the sauce. Now season with some black pepper and leave this to simmer on a low heat for about five minutes. In the meanwhile, let's get started on the fish ticker. I'm using lionfish for this recipe, and the first ingredient going in, some fresh cream, full cream yogurt, about a teaspoon of garlic, lemon juice, two teaspoons of pickle masala, a pinch of white pepper, half a teaspoon of carom seeds, this is also called ajwine, and stir these ingredients through. And now for the powdered spices, a teaspoon of red chili powder, a teaspoon of ground cumin, and ground coriander, a touch of turmeric, Season with salt and gently mix those ingredients together. I suggest using firm fish for this so it doesn't break up with the marinade. And now pour some melted butter onto a grease baking tray and place the pieces of fish on top. Now more melted butter going on top of the fish. Bake the fish tick off in a preheated oven at 220 degrees Celsius for about eight minutes. While the fish is cooking in the oven, I'm going to prepare the cream sauce. And for that, the first ingredient going into a warm pan, some butter. And next, some garlic. Stir the garlic and butter together and lightly fry the garlic. And now just a touch of chili going in. And green chili. Fry that off for about three to five seconds and in goes the cream. Stir that through. And you can see the sauce thickens quite quickly. I've seasoned with some black pepper. I like a fair bit of pepper in my sauce and salt. You don't need to add any flour and butter to thicken the sauce. And that's our sauce done in just about two minutes. I'm ready to serve the feast and just a few finishing touches. The chili cream sauce going over the fish. 
And for the red velvet Oreo cheesecake, I've got some melted white chocolate. And I've also got those lamb chops that I'm serving with a spicy butternut mash. I hope you enjoy the food of love.